the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kimbo Slice! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Muhammad Ali! You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. by Kimbo Slice. Circling to his right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big shot to the head. up with another one. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Oh, big right hand, yes. Lands a huge right hand. Yes, that's the danger in the engagement there. Slice of shot there is blocked. to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Lands to the body there. That one connected. Oh, good block there. Muhammad Ali gets lit up by that straight punch. Kimbo slices, eyes closing up now, not good for him. Big hook. Under a minute now to go round one. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, well-placed knee there by Ali. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attack. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damage. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Ooh, lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep moving. Oh, nice hit. Ali circling to his right. 
All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Man, as he landed a high oh, just digs into the body. Man, he dug that shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. What a beautiful body kill. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Leg kick lands. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh, another huge knee. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Slice's eye has looked a whole lot better, DC. We'll see what the cut man can do to sort of stem the tide with the swelling, but if he's not able to get it to come down, that eye could swell shut. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damage. Ready. Ready. Good. Third round underway. Right hook to the head, blocked. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Leg kick is there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Kimbo Slice is doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen. Now you're... Just over three minutes to go in round three. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't win. Oh. Oh. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Back and forth we go. Watch the referee right then and there has called a stop to the action. Looks like he's going to call on the doctor to look at the cut, and it is a pretty significant one, DC. Well, he's bleeding a lot, and the, the, the blood is going into his eyes. 
It's very difficult for him to see right now. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get Where's worse. Right? Every time you get right. hit in it, it just gets right. worse and worse. He's going to have to take some chances, right. try to end this on. fight right now. Ali's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Seconds remain in the round. Ali's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Stop, stop. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Muhammad Ali! All right, so we did need the judges' scorecards, but overall, a pretty dominant performance for the more well-rounded fighter. Your thoughts? Very dominant. But I also tip my hat to the boxer because he was limited, but he was able to survive. But it's all about the well-rounded fighter tonight as he gets his hand raised by decision.